Welcome to another episode of Christine Tries. Recently, we took a trip to Amsterdam, Netherlands, and we got some snacks there and came back. And now I'm going to do a Christine Tries episode. And remember, this is a true blind taste test because I am visually impaired. I cannot read the labels, so I have to guess what they are. And then I'll give you my thoughts on them. So we have a few snacks that we brought back from Amsterdam. This is the first snack that John picked out at the store. It's upside down. Oh. So it's a true blind taste test. He picked these out without really telling me what they are. It obviously feels like a chocolate bar, so I'm gonna guess that it's chocolate. Um, maybe it's a Dutch chocolate. <laughs> feels pretty hefty. I hope it's dark chocolate. Oh, it's a golden ticket. Is the foil gold? Yeah. Yeah, this feels like a really thick, hefty chocolate bar. I kind of don't want to tear the foil. Uh, not really. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> Here's a chocolate bar with the chunk that I pulled off. It has a letter nice. S on it. It does? Yeah. For Superman? I wonder what that stands for. Maybe it's the name of the chocolate? Let's break off a little square. Mmm, it is dark chocolate. Very tasty. It's good? Mm-hmm. I like it. Two thumbs up for the chocolate. What's the percentage of cacao and what is it? 51%. 51? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. It's pretty dark. This is not good. It's really good. I like it. Two thumbs up for Dutch dark chocolate. At least that brand. Okay. Next, we have some fancy uh, hexagonal package here. I don't know where the front is. I'm gonna rotate. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so this feels like a fancy little package. That's probably something that you can bring back to give away as gifts to friends and family after you travel. There's several of these inside, but. I don't know if they're the same or not. They're kind of, they feel like different sizes. Oh wait, no. They're all like individually wrapped or something. I'm wondering if they're all the same flavor. It feels like a sizable cookie. And I know that the Dutch are known for something called stoop waffles. So my guess, stroop, 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 stroop waffles. So my guess is that's what that is. And I think they're like caramel little wafer cookies. So this is just one, so they're individually wrapped. Mm -hmm. So this one's pretty sizable. I would say it's like the size of my palm and it feels like a really thin sandwich cookie. Mmm. Very sweet. But pretty good. I almost wish that I had them freshly baked at a bakery. I bet you they would have been excellent. And I think... Is there chocolate in it too? It's caramel. It's just caramel? The whole thing is encased in chocolate. Um... No. So you can't have it freshly baked. It would just melt. Okay. I don't normally like caramel. But this is pretty good because it's not a lot of caramel. It kind of reminds me of like a Twix candy bar. Is it crunchy or soft? Mm. It's more soft, but I don't know if it, how crispy they're supposed to be. It's definitely sweet though. If I ate one, that would be all I need. And then I think I need a glass of milk. But these are good. I would give it a one thumbs up, but I bet you if I got it like some kind of street waffle fresh from a bakery, I'd probably really like it, two thumbs up. Good job on making me like caramel in something that I wouldn't normally like caramel in. All right. Here's next. Mm, other side. This feels like a small wheel of cheese. And I also know that Netherlands is known for Gouda, so. I'm gonna guess it's Gouda. I'm not that familiar with Gouda cheese, so 
I'll try to describe it to you. Um, I haven't had much Gouda in my life. I assume it's in a rind. So it's a rind, right? Do mm -hmm. I cut through the rind? Mm -hmm. What color is the rind? Orange? Red? It looks just like a uh, butter scotch. Oh, interesting. You don't really smell anything. I have a steak knife here. Do you think I can cut through with a steak knife? I don't know, John. <laughs> I might need to stand up for more leverage. Okay. Here's the inside. I wonder how you eat this. You just you think I cut off a wedge and then mm -hmm. peel off a peel off the rind? Mm -hmm. The rind comes off pretty easily. Smells like mild cheese. It's pretty mild cheese. Mm. It reminds me of like, kind of like a mild, like just cow's milk cheese, like Swiss or something. It's really easy to eat. This is probably something that you can serve very easily. I think even people who are like not real cheese connoisseurs can enjoy. And I think this is just like an inexpensive cheese from the grocery store. I'm wondering, I'm assuming it's Gouda. Usually when I've had Gouda, I've had it smoked. This isn't smoked, but it's good. What the package say? It's Gouda. It just says plain Gouda? Yeah. I like it. Gouda? <laughs> the Gouda is Gouda. I like that it's, yeah, it's mild. The texture is good. I want to say it's like a medium soft texture. So it has like a, you can bite into it, but it's not like too hard and too crumbly or dry. But I think this was an inexpensive Gouda cheese from the grocery store, so I like it. So, so far so good. We had some sweet stuff. We had some savory cheese. Now we have one last snack, which I've been told are Oreos, but I don't know what flavor. We're not really sure if this is a Netherlands thing, a Dutch thing, but we found it in a grocery store in Amsterdam. Okay, so let's see what interesting Oreo flavor John picked out for me to try. What if it's like a Gouda Oreo Stroop Waffle cookie? You should combine it all <laughs> and see what it tastes like. It smells like peanut butter. I usually like peanut butter cookies. Is the outside a regular Oreo chocolate? Mm -hmm. I think it's peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Put some cheese on it. Mm-mm. No, these are good. I mean... It tastes like Reese's peanut butter. Yeah, but better than a Reese's peanut butter cup. I mean, you've got the crispy chocolate Oreo cookie, and then you've got like peanut butter in the middle. I think it's like a perfect combination. I really wish we had this in the US. We might. Peanut butter, Oreos, very good. Two thumbs up for these, even if they're not truly Dutch. I like them, you wanna try? That's all for this episode of Christine Tries Snacks Found in Amsterdam. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out my other Christine Tries videos. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Should I try the peanut butter with the cheese? Yeah. I'm kinda scared. I like them separately. Like, put it on top? And put sure. it on a little piece. It's a little bit weird, but I know peanut butter cheese crackers are a thing.